Hey guys, it's nice to be simming again. So here is my full review I would have about The Sims 4 Love Struck Expansion Pack. But before we get into that, I do want to talk about previous Sims games having some pretty good stuff in this pack that's nice to see return. Shout out to my grandma, we call her Ola. It's fun. To letting me have her old Sims games just so I can keep them on display for things in case I ever figure out a way to play these once again. But yeah, we have actually some returning items. First up, we have the bear rug, which you can snuggle on and have woohoo on it, which was actually from The Sims 1 Vacation. It came with a lot of the older lodge type resorts. The next thing I came up with is actually the Vibromatic Heart Bed made a return. And it's just the same as the previous one. So that is actually from The Sims 1 Living Large, which actually is the first time The Sims introduced woohoo through the woohoo the Vibromatic Heart Bed. Then we got more exclusive complicated dates from hot date which also expands from the sims 3 which had the ability to go to different lots on a date so that's where that came from and lastly we actually had the costume chest which is actually from the sims 1 house party which is self-explanatory what the game did some pretty good stuff so yeah a lot of returners from previous sims packs which i do enjoy that whole idea there was also a new costume that returned from the sims 1 for ps i think it was ps1 which was just a kind of opposite tuxedo where it covered up the basic parts and kind of was missing major areas. So now it's time for my actual review of the pack. So first off, we're going to go hop over in the cast so you guys can see pretty much what my views are because this is still, I haven't reviewed it yet up until now. I just got done recording it so you guys will be able to see my first impressions of cast, which... So obviously I haven't experienced cast yet, so we're right here in the cast so I can look more into what is new in the game so we can figure it out. So first up, let's hit up the hair. So it looks like we got a few new hairstyles for men. I'm not going to look at the children because high chance a lot of the stuff's not even for them, it's also for adults. Got some pretty good hairstyles for men. This one looks a little more reminiscent of my hair. <laughs> does it come out of the back? It does. Sorry, just got a little distracted. We have one new beard, which doesn't look too bad. A little bumpy, though. It could use a little bit more smoothing out. We got one new hat, which is a safari hat, which I expected from the costumes. We got a new mask, a new sleep mask, and a new chain necklace. I do like the sleep mask. That's cool to see. Got some makeup. Let me take out the mask so we can see it. There's a the crying eye makeup. Good news, that could be layered. We also got new eyelashes. And what's this? I think it's just a glow up of the face. <laughs> he, he looks amazing. <laughs> so I got a few new tops. I don't see myself using that one. This one's nice. I like this one. This one I don't see myself using because that's a little... Seem, this, this seems a little inappropriate. This is cool. I like this one. That's nice. There, there's quite a few tops in here. Like, ooh, this one's nice. I, like, I do like graphic tees. So I'm always open for graphic tees. That's always nice. We also got another graphic tee and some, we got a few plain swatches in this pack. Like a few things that are a little out there like this, but then we also got some plain ones, which are really good objects to have. So then we got costumes, which we got all kinds of different ones for your sim to wear when they're having fun. Oh, this one returned. This one's actually from a previous Sims game. I think it was the uh, PS1 version of the Sims 1. We also got plenty of new pants, which all look pretty good. Like, I have no complaints about these. Like, these all look really nice. And some new underwear, too, so that's cool. So next up, we got a few new rings. And we got new, like, leggings, so that's nice. I heard we also got some new base game nails. Like, that came with the pack. Yeah, we have a ton of new base game nails. We also got a few new swatches of the toenails, so that's cool. That's good. And we got very few new shoes. So I can see some of this stuff being used, some of it not. So for traits wise, we got the new love bug trait. And for we have it under love, we have romantic explorer. The sim wants to explore all of romance has to offer. And we have paragon partner. The sim wants to have a successful relationship with two or more sims. Good to see. Okay, now we're to female sims. So we got too many too many haircuts for female sims like i mean this is ridiculous i think you should add the same amount of haircuts to male sims like because this is this is ridiculous that female sims have so many and then the male sims have barely any got the same hat got some new earrings like a broken heart earrings we got 
these ones with their butterflies, which there's very a lot of butterflies. We got hearts, same masks. We got three new necklaces, so that's really nice. I like having new necklaces. It helps make Sims better. Okay, we got the two new eyelashes from the pack. We got same makeup, a new lipstick, and the same other makeup. Okay, it's here. So we got new tops. Basically, it looks like female versions of some of the tops, and then some females having their own tops, which some of these tops I could definitely see myself using, and they have some good detailing in them, but I still can't but mention that women have so many more clothing options than the men, so it's kind of disappointing to see how many women have and then how few men have. So next up is costumes. Again, they have the same costumes, just different alternations for female-bodied sims. Which again, like, oh, and there's some nice dresses in here too. Like, just plain dresses that are good to have. Good to see, good to see. Yeah, a lot of dresses in here. Wow. And combined with the costumes. I do like the catfish. That's a little fun. Oh, let me get her out of her underpants. So for pants-wise, we have new underwear. Again, some new regular pants, which I could definitely see myself using often. But it looks like the men probably got more pants than the women. Same rings, new leggings, and new nails. Oh, take off the gloves. I can't see them. Okay, do we have new toenails? No. Then we got four, a few more pairs of new shoes. And then the other trait we have is romantically reserved, which I didn't read them, so let me read them. Uh, love bug. Sims with this trait are constantly swept up into a whirlwind of romance. They fall in love easily, often wearing their hearts on their sleeves. And the other one is these Sims often tread to carefully in the realm of love, preferring to take time and build the social, solid emotional connections before jumping headfirst in the romance. And then obviously the other thing being is that now we have turn-ons and turn-offs, which go in the way of life, which is based off basically skills, and it's just based off skills that a sim might be into, but also traits. Like, so basically skills are way of life, traits are characteristics, romance styles are what they're interested in, hair color obvious, alpha color obvious, and fashion obvious. So yeah, pretty good stuff. Don't think it's too bad. Overall, I would give Cass a pretty good maybe 7 out of 10. I kind of wish the men would have a little more to do with and a little more to work with. I don't like how the women have so much content, but men barely have any. And it's just like, it's such a different ratio. I feel like the ratio should be Every female outfit, you create a male outfit. Like, it should be the exact same, you know? Now let's move on to build mode. Now, I built an entire house deciding with the new items of the pack and honestly getting to experiment, see how they combine not just with the game, but with base game as well. And overall, I was pretty happy with what came with it. However, there were some things I was thinking like, oh, it would have made sense to have something in this category or something in that category. Like, for example, a lounge chair. I thought this pack would be one to have that. But yeah, nothing really caught my eye. It was a pretty cool item. So I would give, honestly, probably built by a 6 out of 10. Like, there were some things where I could definitely see things are missing. And there could have been some improvements on other things that could have been added. But if you do want to see that video, it will be going up later this week where I'll be posting the video of me building that house itself. So next up is gameplay. So for gameplay-wise, you have the new city of Sinidad and Murata, which has three new districts, each containing a different vibe to them. There's one that has a lot, and there's different types of lots for your sim to experience falling in love with, especially with the new singles hangout lot trait, which basically is self-explanatory. These lots will now have sims who are single hang out. This includes the bar and this includes the nightclub and gym in town. So there's four new lots. There's the gym, the nightclub, the bar, well, it's more of a lounge, but I call it a bar. And then there's also the park, which these three, four lots each are kind of the only unique way. And it makes it really interesting for dates since you can do a lot with a new dating system. Now, the new dating system is not complete. You can have the same system you had before in The Sims 4, meaning you can just ask on a date and you get the same task list. No strings attached. But there's a new scheduling a date, which good news is I checked. You can schedule a date through the calendar, which I do like that because that makes it so you can plan them ahead of time rather than doing them in the media. Now, I do like this idea, and I think it was very interesting to include that. But the thing is, they basically work similarly to my wedding stories, which we all know how that worked out. But good news is you don't have anything to worry about. I have rarely encountered any bugs or glitches when playing this game or this new pack. So it's really good. It's really good to see that. A lot of people have been talking about uh, Sims being too mean and also the infamous incest update coming out, but I haven't experienced any of that yet. 
probably because I haven't gotten that, that deep into the gameplay. But I will be posting the full gameplay video I did to the channel at some point where you guys will be able to see me having my first reaction to everything. I was nearly lost that footage, so please, please enjoy this video. Please like this video so more people can see this. I really have went through a lot these past few days. But anyway, it's very interesting to see the new pack. So, there's a lot of different things that you can do in this pack. So first off, scheduling dates, you can, there's cross pack compatibility in there, but there's not too many. Like there's only, you could do pet stuff, snow stuff, and ice skating, which I like that and all, but I kind of wanted to see more cross pack compatibility. Like for example, we have a pack literally dedicated to bowling. We also have a pack dedicated to movies. How come we don't have something like watch a movie or play bowling? Like, why don't we have that? I feel like that should be something interesting that should have been available to have selected for your sims. Also, we have restaurants in game. Why not have a go out to eat? Like, why is there some that are missing? Like, there's very few cross pack compatibilities, and I feel like there could have been a little more. But the dates work solidly. Basically, your task list becomes different. There may be you have to have 10 friendly interactions or 10. 10 romantic interactions, it all depends on how you set up the date. You can have three types of dates. You can have a get to know you date, which is pretty self explanatory. Your sims will get to know each other and understand each other. There is a romantic date, which is just basic, regular date, gotta have fun. And then there's a romantic repair date, which is basically based upon having your sims have the romantic satisfaction repaired by, you know, going out on a date. So, What's interesting is this date had a lot of new animations that I really liked. There was a new cloud watching animation or sky watching animation or stargazing, I should say, that happens on a bench or the picnic blanket. And honestly, it was very cute and romantic and a lot better than the original cloud gazing or stargazing animation. Other animations that were new is like, I'm going to warn you right now. This pack is the most adult pack The Sims 4 has ever made. Between the woohoo costumes and the asking about woohoo and also the new goose animation. That's from The Sims 2. So that was like, wow, I can't believe they brought that back into the game. I thought that would be the one thing they didn't include in the game. But yeah. Other than that, there's also two new TV channels. There's a romantic dating channel, which is supposed to be like a reality TV show, which is hilarious because Mrs. Crumplebottom swears in the show like, they censor it, obviously, but they, it's obviously implied, so you can obviously think about it. But it was very interesting to see that, and I got a good laugh out of myself watching that, so that was really fun. Other things that are nice to include is that there was a other new channel, which is the telenovela channel, which was kind of funny because I had the exact joke of the evil twin brother kind of situation, which I really enjoyed that. That channel was very, very fun to watch, very interesting to see, and I had a lot of fun with it. Other things that include in gameplay is there's this sad bear that walks around the town and you'll especially see him in the park area. So you can ask him about the bear costume. He won't tell you, but you can extremely insist on asking, like you can continuously ask him. But he talks about a ring. So it's a whole quest that you're supposed to do. Spoilers ahead if you don't want to know anything about this. Please skip this part of the video and yeah, you'll be fine. But it's also in the gameplay video. So if you see me talking about that, go ahead and skip it so you don't have to miss anything out. Or if you want to me to spoil it. I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, so what happened was basically the I went on a quest to find the ring. Now, let it be known, he said he was not good at fishing, so he couldn't fish the ring after tossing it into the lake, which it's in the lake in the park, the one that's shaped like a heart. But so I got it on my second caught fish, and let it be known, I only had level one of the skill, so it was good to see. And basically, you'll go on a journey, and eventually, it'll come to the point where you have to rub the ring on, rub the ring once you get to the wall in the I believe it is the secondary neighborhood. And once you do that, you'll be able to unlock a new ability of extreme confidence that will help you do really good romantic interactions. But it's called Ring Riz. So it's a little cringy considering it's Gen Alpha talk. And I don't like the word Riz or any. In fact, I don't like any Gen Alpha talk. It all sounds really bad. Whereas I feel like Gen Z, which I am a part of because I was born in 2004, is more better. <laughs> it makes more sense. Well, most of it makes sense but it was very interesting to see that there was a little quest mini quest in this little world that was very interesting i also got to it also helped me out because i got to explore a little bit more in the world so believe it or not there's new gym equipment in this pack so that was very interesting also it's a dumbbell rack which i think we'll be using in a lot of gyms in the future especially when i build those but the world's builds are really good they're actually 
built by Sims YouTubers. I can't remember exactly what their names are, but some of them were in Mexican like culture YouTubers, which I was very happy to see because I feel like that's something that the Sims team does a really good job of. And I think really helps make sure the builds are making sense. Like they will have these YouTubers make them like they've done it plenty of times and they honestly have done a really good job. So honestly, I hope guys, let's get this channel popular because if we ever have a Midwestern world, I need to build in it. I need to be the person to build a lot for it because I live in the Midwest. It's my entire life. And I'm just saying I need to do something cool for that one or any world i would love to have a build i made be a part of a world and ship with the pack like it, it's so cool anyway other things that i saw were really interesting is the romantic heart bed the vibromatic heart bed does vibrate and it has lights on it too so it's very interesting and the costume chest is pretty similar your sims would change in the costume and then woohoo now people are saying that it would change the wording for woohoo like for example if you were an eggplant it would say show eggplant in bed I never got that. Like, I tried it. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So it might be a glitch in the game that needs to be fixed. But other than that, I haven't encountered any major break, game-breaking glitches. I did forget to talk about Cupid's Corner. So Cupid's Corner is the newest app in this game. It's basically a giant app that allows you to date Sims. Now, there is a blind date option, which I was very happy to see. I want that ability to be the date be mysterious or an unknown. I just want to know exactly about it. I want it to be cool, you know? I want to know all about that information. So it was very interesting to see, and I really I really liked it. I really have had a nice time with the app. Now, let me know, I didn't really experience that experience it more off-camera because uh, my two Sims were already dating. I just wanted to play around and see what it was like. The only complaint I have is that it does not allow you to lie. And like, I really like the idea of catfishing people. Like, I feel like you should be able to take a photo and like your sim could edit it to make it look like they're all there on a really buff body or, or it shows them at like a romantic, it shows them in front of a really big house to make it look like they're rich. But I also kind of liked how in the Sims 3, you could lie about your traits. You could choose any trait and you can simply lie and people will get upset at you. They'd be like, hey, you're lying. And I kind of like that, especially since we have a catfish costume. How come we can't catfish Sims? They did remove the body type from The Sims 3, which honestly, I don't see a problem with it previously. I thought it was an interesting thing. It also was like everybody looks for that kind of stuff. Like you, some people look for all different kinds of people. So you could lie if you're athletic or you could lie if you're skinny or stuff like that. And like sometimes, like I said, Sims will get upset because you lied. But a lot of the time, if you didn't lie, Sims would be perfectly fine with it. I want that consequence. So there is two new deaths that I haven't experienced yet. And I didn't experience in Let's Play, so eventually I'll probably see if I can force myself to do them. So what I got was, it was two new deaths. So it's the death by broken heart and the death by, I think it's like by those sweetheart boxes. So... Basically, if your sim is really sad and they eat sweetheart boxes, they're like basically kind of like eat their feelings. They can end up choking to death. Then there's also death by broken heart, which is basically if your sim has one too many failed dates where it just does not happen. There's no spark and there's no happiness. They will actually die from that. So that was very interesting to hear about. I didn't get to experience it, but I know it exists because I watch our YouTubers and I also learned about it because let's face it. I do not. I'm not part of the EA creator network. Not yet, at least. And I don't have experience up to this first thing firsthand early, so we'll have to see more information. But yeah, pretty much that's what it was. I did experience all three new Woohoo locations. And I'll honestly say one of them is bad and two of them are good. So they included basically what's a Woohoo hotel in the pack, which is, again, very adult for the pack. This is not a pack for children. I'm just going to say it right now. Kind of like the Sims. One had very, very interesting things. But so basically there's the hotel, which is the worst out of all of them. It's just the rabbit hole. Not very interesting. Not very cool. Then there's the blanket, which the blanket is self-explanatory. Your Sims will wrap up in the blanket like it's a burrito, as some people are calling it. And woohoo in there. And then lastly, there's the woohoo in a janitor's closet, which I can definitely see myself putting that more on lots. Just to have a little fun place where Sims can go to to hang out and have some fun. It was very interesting and I got to experience that and I really enjoyed it to be honest. I had a good time with it. Something else that returned in this game that I really liked is that your sims can cuddle in bed. Basically you would just click on the bed and click cuddle with. So you choose a sim to cuddle with and they cuddle in bed and it's adorable. 
And what's even better is they can fall asleep in that position. Like you can just choose for them to sleep there. And it looks so cute while they're sleeping cuddled up. I just loved it so much. Something else I forgot to mention is you can earn rewards from the dates. Now let it be know I've earned some candles from it. But the big one you can earn is a photo. A photo of the date itself. And it'll be just a cute romantic photo of the two sims. Which I personally love. I loved it so much, and I really like having those storytelling options. I wish it was a screenshot more of the date rather than just the generic photo booth photos from The Sims for high school years. I feel like they could definitely improve by doing that, so just a little thing there. And again, they decided to tease us once again with more cars, which is just making me more upset because I really want cars in The Sims 4. You guys know it's my number one priority right now. I want cars in garages. I want that in the game. So what they had, oh boy, what they had was, so first, they have a new car in the world. It's a taxi. And I'm just like, again, stop making debug cars and make real cars in a game. Like, it's just a necessary thing at this point. And then the other thing is in the telenovela channel, they sized up the toy car so much. And then they, like, glided it across the screen. And I got so mad at that because I'm just like, stop teasing it. Just make them make cars and garages we should have had them at this point it's necessary i hate my sims teleporting everywhere i want them that's why i use the bicycles like i don't want it to feel like they just teleported there uh you can't tell i'm upset about this <laughs> but overall i really liked the gameplay of this pack it was it was nice i really enjoyed it i'd say gameplay this adds some very crucial gameplay that really honestly makes the game a little better because it just Add something that seems like it was so needed to the game. So overall, I would give gameplay probably a 9 out of 10. It was actually pretty good. So overall, pack-wise, i give it an 8 out of 10. It was a pretty good pack, and I never ran into any big bugs or glitches, which I would totally tell you guys about that if I was actually going to run into stuff like that. I'm just warning you about that now. But overall, I had a really good time, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So please... Like this video so more people can see it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't. Keep up to date because I'm going to be adding my videos of builds and also my video of gameplay later, which you will be able to see firsthand. If you're not caught up by anything, please go to my playlist and I will be starting the series with Rose having her experience. Wow, Rose, I named her so appropriately for this pack. But she'll be experiencing seeing that Emirata and being able to really experience the Sims world. Like I, I'm really excited for that. But yeah, if you want to see other content by me, hit over my main channel, Garewolf, where I focus mostly, and I do other gaming that isn't The Sims. I also stream every Friday on Twitch and Dupa, and I'm starting to consider streaming on the weekends. I don't know that about that yet, but I'm considering it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and what do you think about the pack? Now let it be known, this is my opinion. You can develop your own about the pack and experience it firsthand for yourself, or you can decide not to buy it. I'm not ever going to say that you should buy it, or shouldn't buy it. I'm just going to say what I think about it. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.